When you're looking at transformations in geometry, specifically congruence transformations, we, a very popular one is a translation. And this is when we move every part of an original object in the same direction and distance to create a new image. So let's say we have our triangle here. And our triangle is going to get moved to a new spot. Now when it gets moved, everything is going to stay the same. It isn't going to turn out different. It's just going to be an actual copy. Almost like I copy and paste that triangle somewhere else. So it translated to a new location. The actual act of the movement is what we call a translation. And then the new object that's created is what we call an image. Now, that image is going to be the exact same as the original. It is congruent, and like triangles, when we talk about triangle congruence, we could go through and show it, but it creates a brand new one. Now, it moves to a new spot. Maybe I put another one over here next to it, and again, it, another translation and another new image is formed. So we can kind of draw this on the paper, but what we nor normally see this is on a graph. So if I'm just going to move something, let's say this point this is what we're going to focus on and right now it's x y and we'll, we'll look at a graph in a minute but right now it's just x y and it's going to move somewhere new now anywhere i move it on the graph it's going to change vertically in the y direction and x in the horizontal direction so i'm going to have the still x and y but it's going to change by some amount so let's say the amount it moves left or right is A. And so A is going to be horizontal movement. And then we look at B is going to be vertical movement or the Y direction. We could then represent this new point by saying x plus a, y plus b. And that's going to be where the new point is. And whatever those values are. So that is a notation we can use. And really, more so, that notation helps us describe what that translation is. It's almost like giving directions. You give your friend a, a graph, and there's your triangle there. And you've got to get them to a certain spot. Well, you could tell them you need to move over five units to the right and three units down or ten units to the left and six units up, you're describing where everything's going to move to the correct location. So let's look at a graph. I have a rectangle up at the top. Let's say I'm going to move this rectangle three to the right and four down. So if I'm moving 3 to the right and 4 down, it's being translated, so every piece is going to move the same amount. So let's start out with just uh, D down here. If it went 3 to the right, I'd go 1, 2, 3 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4 units down, and I'm going to put D prime, a little apostrophe on there. Then we do the same thing with, let's go with C. 3 to the right goes there, and 4 down gives us C prime. Let's get rid of that. Now we'll go with B, 3 to the right, 4 down gives us B prime. And then we go with A, 3 to the right, 4 down, A prime. And what we've now created is a new image, a new copy of our original rectangle that we'd call A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime, or you could just say it's the image. Now, it would be the exact same copy. And now, realize it doesn't look the same because I drew the first one as a rectangle. We can clear that up. Put the rectangle back in. But it's a shifted version. Now, how could we write that? So I went from x, y in the original to new points on the image and each time I shifted every point on X 
3 to the right. And if we move 3 to the right, we go plus 3. And for the y, we moved down 4. And if we go down 4 in the y direction, that's minus 4. So this is how we get to your image. So your directions, your map would say, you, if you started at x, y, your image would be at x plus 3, y minus 4. So let's do another one. Let's look down at E, D, F, G. And we're going to do, we'll move up 1 and 4 left. So up 1, 4 left. Each point is going to move. So let's start with G. I go up 1, 4 to the left, gives me G prime. With F, I go up 1, 4 to the left, gives me F prime. Let's get rid of these. Now we're going to go up 1, 4 to the left to get to D prime. And up 1, 4 to the left to get to E prime. We have our new points. We'll change our color this time for our image, image original, and now we need to write our translation. We, so we started at x, y with our points, d, e, or e, d, f, g, and we moved uh, 4 to the left would be our x direction. Realize left and right is x, up and down is y. So 4 to the left is actually negative 4, so all of the x values would actually shift back 4. And then we moved up 1, so all the y values would go up 1. Our original is x, y, and then our image is x minus 4, y plus 1. Now, let's give it an actual graph and use the, the idea we have so far to pick actual points. So I'm going to draw some axes here. And let's pick a shape to draw. We'll go here. And we label our points. We have 1, 3, which we'll call A. We have 5, 3, which we'll call B. We have C, which will be 5, 5. And we have D, which will be 1, 5. And now let's pick a translation. So the translation we want to follow this time, um, let's use the one we did first. Uh, 3 to the right, 4 down. So x plus 3, y minus 4. So that is our guide. That means if we plugged in points, it's going to give us our new image points. So let's do that. A. was 1, 3. If I plugged that in, I would get 1 plus 3 and 3 minus 4, which would give me that A prime, the image, is going to be the coordinates 4, negative 1. Well, let's put that there. 4, negative 1, A prime. B is going to be at 5, 3. So if I add 3 to 5, and then subtract 4 from 3, I get that B prime is 8, negative 1. So let's check that one out. 8, negative 1 looks like right there. And if we look at it so far, just that segment AB and the new A prime, B prime, they look pretty good. For C which was originally 5, 5. We add 3, and we get that C prime is going to be 8, and positive 1. So there's C prime. And D prime, our last point, was 1, 5. Not D prime, should have been D. 
the prime is going to be 4, 1. Let's graph that one out. 4, 1 goes right there. There's our image. It's translated down. Everything is moved now down 4 or in, to the right, 3. Now, we can move that any direction we want on the graph, but it's just using that notation that you have there. It's going to be your guide to how you need to move the points.